I'm Astro from South Bay Kids Connections, and today we're going to be playing This or That with my assistant. Wait. Wait, I think we did it wrong. Hold on, wait. I think we did it wrong. Wait. Try that again. Hi, I'm Diana from South Bay Kids Connection, and I have here my assistant. Hi. Aster. And today, like you said, we're going to be playing This or That. It is a quick game that is guaranteed to be a hit with your kids because it allows them to talk about themselves. So it's very, very simple. There actually, I think, is a real board game possibly called This or That. It's much easier to just use folded pieces of paper. So all we have, the magic, here I'll show all these, we have folded pieces of papers and on each paper there are we, two words. Okay. So like either super noisy and super quiet or chocolate or vanilla. Okay, so these are just different either attributes or things we have YouTube or TV, wind or rain. And so how we play is I have just a whole bunch of these. And what I do is I put them out on a table. I have them like that so you can't necessarily see what they're going to get. So then someone will just pick up one random card. So he's going to read the card. Saturdays or Sundays. And the rest of the group, knowing what we know about Astor, because we've been in group with him and paying attention to what things he's been saying, and we've been getting to know him, we are going to guess, he's not going to tell us yet, we are going to guess what he's going to say. Even if he has not been in group with us for too long or there is a new student in group. If there's someone new, then this is a great way to communicate, share opinions, and just start talking because that's one of the main things this game does. It gets everyone talking. So I might say Saturday, you can just have them shout it out or if you want to have them write it out or something and then flip it, you can choose how it's going to be best for your group. But usually in my group anyway, we just kind of shout it out and keep tabs on who said what. So I'm going to say... What do you think? I think Saturday. You are... Correct. Ooh, I know you. And so what would happen is sometimes if you pick Saturday, they might say, oh, why'd you pick Saturday? Saturdays are the worst. Or, you know, no, Sundays everyone, are the worst. Everyone has their own opinion, and that's what I like. It gets everyone talking, and it's like, it's like teaching debate through games. It's kind of strange, but it works really well, and everyone's talking about what they want and their reasons when you have your own reasons. It's good for us to know what other people's opinions are, but then we also have to remind them, yes, but would you think Aster is going to like better? And they might say, oh, summer because I know he surfs, or something like that, or oh, winter because I know he skis. So that's it in a nutshell. I don't ski. Well, if I'm imagining, <laughs> if you did, I would say winter, maybe. So that's it. I literally made these myself. And another thing you can do for the, your younger learners Instead of, for example, this one, airplane and train, what you can do is just put a picture of an airplane and a train and do the same thing with the smaller kids. Um, I would just choose maybe a smaller, do that in a smaller group, maybe just like four kids instead of our group for the older kiddos is about six to eight children. You can actually get this as a free downloadable resource at my website. Oh. <laughs> teachsocialskills.com and you're going to see an option to download some free resources for children ages 8 to 11 and this is in here because that's the age group that we play this in like I said the younger kids it might be the pictures if you have any thoughts or other ideas on how we can branch this off let us know in the comments thanks so yeah see ya